This is the roof light we're going to be installing above the living area in Billy. It's a Dometic Mini Hecky. It's 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres aperture that we're going to cut into the ceiling. Um, the first thing we're going to do is make a wooden frame so that um, it can sandwich the fittings for the Dometic roof light. So I'll show you how I make that frame now. So to make this frame I'm going to be using 19mm by 38mm uh, sawn timber. Um, we're going to cut it using a chop saw and we get four lengths and then we'll screw them all together to make the frame. I'm going to use a, a trend pocket jig uh, to make this uh, frame. This jig comes with a drill bit and also a screw bit and some screws that are specific to this jig. I'll do that now. So now that I've made the frame with the 40 centimetre aperture, I'm just going to hold it up to the ceiling and get the place where I want to make the cuts. So I'm going to have it above the living space at the back in the centre of the ceiling, just about here. And what I'll do is I'll mark on the four corners. Now that the four corners are marked on, I can drill four reference holes, go onto the roof and then join up the lines to make the cut line. Lovely. So now I've done four holes in the corners, I'm now going to use a hole saw so that I get the curve of the corner and then I can go onto, this, onto the roof and join up the cut lines at a 40 centimetre distance so that I'm happy. Uh, that the roof light will fit through the hole. So I'm up on the roof after drilling the four hole saws in the corners of the aperture that I'm going to cut. So I'm going to use the green frog tape now to um, mark, scuff the area that I'm going to draw the cut line and then I'll draw the line and just ensure that there's a 40 centimetre gap. So the tape is on, the hole saws are through and I've drawn on the cut line and I've measured that at just over 40 centimetres. Ready to go. That's the hole cut for the roof light. I'm now going to give it a rub along the edges with some isopropyl. This just gets rid of any impurities before the sealant is applied. So I'll rub all the edges down and then with a file, I'll take off the rough edge before applying some hammerite to the edge. So I've checked that the roof light fits into the aperture I've cut and I'm happy. And what I'm going to do now is just take this out and then just prepare these bits of low um, metal 
with some plumbers mate I'll basically create a sausage of plumbers mate which goes all the way around fills in these low bits so that when we press the vent down it will create a watertight seal so I've now molded the putty to create a single bead around the outside and you can see where it's filled these low gaps and then made a nice level watertight seal once I compress the roof light onto it. I'll do that now. So from the inside what I've done is I've lifted up the timber frame and with a partner they've just helped me lift this plastic um, inner frame up to the uh, ceiling and I'm now going to use these long screws to fix the inner frame uh, to the outer roof light -like piece so that it's sandwiching the wooden frame between the two pieces. Here's a view of the roof light from the inside. I've screwed the inner frame to the outer frame with these screws which are provided. And we also received this cover which will clip up. And one half is a blackout and one half is a mosquito net. So here you can see the roof light finished off on top of the van. We've just used some Sikaflex sealant, made a bead around the outside. And that's the roof light done. Mm -hmm.